Let us now take the next model from profit and loss which is based on the concept of discount. To understand this concept, we first need to learn what is marked price. Marked price is the price at which the article is marked. It is generally denoted as M. So it is nothing but the price at which the article has been marked. We find that on many articles there is a label or there is a value written. So that value is known as marked price. If there is no discount, that means if the discount D is equal to 0, then the selling price will be equal to marked price. But otherwise, whenever a discount is given, discount is generally given to attract the customer or to improve the sales. So whenever a discount is given, then the selling price should be taken as marked price minus discount value. So selling price is always marked price minus discount. And if the discount is 0, selling price will be M minus 0. That is nothing but M. So the simple point to be understood here is whenever there is no discount, selling price is same as market price. But when there is a discount, selling price should be taken as market price minus discount. And remember that generally the discounts are given in terms of percentage. And this percentage of discount should always be taken on the market price. And then we can find out the selling price as market price minus discount. Let us now look at the first example based on the concept of discount. The question here is an article was sold for rupees 480 after a discount of 20%. What is the marked price? So here we are supposed to find out the marked price where the selling price is given that is rupees 480 and the discount is 20%. So as given in the question selling price is equal to 480 and the discount is equal to 20%. And we are supposed to find out the marked price F. Remember friends, selling price should always be taken as marked price minus discount. And since discount is always calculated on marked price, we can understand that marked price should be treated as 100%. For example, if the discount is 10%, selling price would be marked price minus discount. That is 100% minus 10%, which is 90%. Similarly, if the discount is 25%, selling price would be 100% minus 25%. That is 75% of the marked price. So whenever the marked price and discount comes into picture, the percentages must be taken with respect to marked price. So here marked price is always 100% and the discount should be taken on marked price. So accordingly we can find out the selling price as marked price minus discount percentage. So as given here, the discount was 20%. So we can understand that if the discount is 20%, selling price should be 100% minus 20%. We are taking marked price as 100%. It should always be taken as 100% because here the percentage calculations are done on marked price. So the selling price will be 100 minus 20 that is equal to 80%. Now from the question we know that selling price is 480. So we can say that 80% is equivalent to 480. And we are supposed to find out the marked price. Marked price we know is equivalent to 100%. So this should be equal to 1. So by cross multiplication we get the required answer. So marked price will be equal to 100 into 480 divided by 80. 80 gets cancelled 6 times here. So 100 into 6 is 600 rupees. So the marked price of the article here is 600 rupees. So if you try to observe, the question here can be solved in a similar manner as we do in case of profit and loss. There, always the cost price is taken as 100% and the calculations are done on the cost price. Here, always the marked price is taken as 100% and all the calculations are done on marked price. So simply remember that marked price is 100% and selling price should be marked price minus discount. So we find the selling price as 80%. Instead of marked price, if the question says how much is the discount, we know that the discount given was 20%. So if 80% is 480, 20% is equal to what? Again by cross multiplication, we can find out the discount in terms of rupees. Let us now take one more example based on the concept of discount. The question is, a shopkeeper marks his goods in such a way that even after allowing a discount of 20%, he makes a profit of 12%. How much percent above the cost price is the marked price? So here as given in the question, the discount is 20%, but still there is a profit of 12%. So we are supposed to find out by what percent should the cost price be marked up? Or what should be the percentage difference between cost price and the marked price such that even after giving a discount of 20%, we can make a profit of 12%. Now to solve this question, let us start with an assumption that the cost price is rupees 100. If the cost price is rupees 100 and the profit is 12%, we can understand that 
the selling price should be equal to 100 plus 12 percent of 100. That is nothing but 100 rupees that is the cost price plus 12 percent of 100 rupees which comes out to be 112 rupees. So, the selling price when there is a profit of 12 percent should be 112. But at the same time, we also know that there was a discount of 20 percent. If the discount is 20 percent, we can understand that selling price should be 100 minus 20 percent of the market price. That is nothing but the selling price here should be equal to 80 percent of market price. And we know that the selling price is 112. So, by substituting 112 in this equation, we can say that 112 should be equal to 80 by 100 into m and from this the mark price comes out to be 100 into 12 112 by 80 so by simplifying this we get the answer as 140 that is the mark price is 140 rupees so as you can see here with an assumption that the cost price is 100 rupees and following the given question we have found that the mark price has to be 140 that means for a cost price of 100 the mark price should be 140 such that even after a discount of 20 percent on this market price, we can make a profit of 12 percent. Now, the question is how much percent above the cost price is the market price? So, if the cost price is 100 and the market price is 140, we can understand that the market price is 40 percent more than the cost price. So, the answer here should be 40 percent. It has been marked up by 40 percent or it is nothing but the percentage change between cost price and market price. We have learned percentage change in the topic of percentages. It should be nothing but final value minus initial value by initial value into 100. So, the final value is 140 and initial value is 100. So, 140 minus 100 divided by 100 into 100 will be equal to 40 percent. So, the market price should be 40 percent more than the cost price. So, this is how we can solve this question with a simple assumption that cost price is equal to 100. And friends, as I have already mentioned in the topic of percentages, we can start with any value, it need not be 100. We can also assume that cost price is 80 and accordingly do the calculations. Final answer remains 40 percent only. But it is always suggested that we start with 100 so that the calculation becomes simple. Let us now look at the other way of solving this question. This question here can be solved with the concept of net or effective percentage. If you try to observe, there is something called as cost price which has been marked up by some percentage to get the mark price. And on this marked price, we get some discount and after that, there is some profit. So, we can understand that the profit that we obtain is an effective percentage of marking up percentage and the discount percentage. So, going by the concept of effective percentage, we can say that the profit that is obtained or the profit percentage that is obtained should be A plus B plus AB by 100 percent. Here, A is nothing but the percentage by which the marked price has been taken above the cost price and B is nothing but the discount percentage. Now, if you look at the given question, the discount percentage is equal to 20 and the profit is equal to 12 percent. So, we can say that 12 should be equal to A that is the percentage by which market price has been taken above the cost price plus the discount. Now, because discount is a decrease in value, it should be taken as minus 20. So, B should be taken as minus 20 plus A into minus 20 by 100. Now, if we try to solve this equation, we find that A will be equal to plus 40 percent. So, very clearly A which is nothing but the percentage by which the market price has been taken above the cost price is equal to 40 percent. So, either you go by the concept of net or effective percentage or simply assume that the cost price is 100 to get the answer. But remember, when you use net or effective percentage, the net or effective percentage is the profit percentage and A is the percentage by which the price has been marked up and B is the discount percentage, which should be taken in terms of a negative sign. So, that is all from profit and loss and discount. Practice well on these questions. See you in the next session. Thank you.